Katie. <laughs> say hello to the camera. What, do you want me to say hello? Yes. Hello. Hola. <laughs> oh. Why the signal's not red? I thought they were red. But you're on the back of the signal, Katie, that's why. Ah. Okay. Don't make more sense. Oh, yeah. Molly Hill. Good questions, though. Hi. There you go. Aiden. 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 Have you eaten all of your sweets? No. Okay. We're going to have a look down the station, eh? There's steam engines. That one looks like Ryan. From the tree above. Which one looks like Ryan? That one. And that one. And that one. Which one this one here? Oh, there you go, there's the uh, there's the signal box we've just seen. Nice. There we go, we can see him! That gave me a lot of courage to go over that bridge because it has holes in it. And it's wobbly. Hello! This side of the station is not as fun, but... Yeah. Are you going to come back over so we can have a look at the sheds? Yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the sheds. Let's have a look at this sign here. Wilbert. 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 An austerity, one of my favourites, isn't it, Aiden? Got lots of them. There's another one up there, Aiden. Yeah, Wilbert, the engine who's, who's named after the guy who's here, Thomas and Ryan's. That's what the colliery looked like. And there, the pit, is literally where the trees are there. So if you're looking at this picture now, you can see the where the track is. And there you go. They all look very old. They look quite new. They look old. No, they've been restored. Some have been restored, some haven't been restored. Some have been in there. Uh, Look, 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 and P and G are. That'll be a private owner's wagon. National Cup board they made a lot of money when steam engines were still around. Obviously they are still around, but you know what I mean. Well, the National Coal Board pretty much had all of the mines at one point. Have a look. <laughs> Why is it just a puddle of water? Going all the way along. It's basically a drain, Katie. Ah. Look how big these are compared to me. I'm tiny. What? This is literally my height. It's actually now. quite a small wagon, that. Yeah, I'm tiny though. Are they a couplings? Three link couplings. See the inside. See the insides. Look how big the wheels are. Are the wheels bigger than the bus? Depends on the size of the bus, doesn't it? Mm. Hey, Daddy. What? Yeah, we'll have a look along in a minute. The shed's closed. Yeah, the shed's closed. I know, we've got trucks along there. Truck. Go and have a look over at the other trucks and then see what the other trucks look like. Yeah. A tanker, that's mm. not something you're not used to seeing here. Mm. Mm. 
wouldn't have to clean the tracks if rocks got on them, just in case. That there, Katie, right? That was the station when I was a kid, right? You see where the men are stood? Yeah. There used to be a green hut, which was basically where you used to buy your souvenirs. Well, that human was a diesel engine, high mistake. Uh, and the train literally went round this track, mm. around the corner, and went to Sunnyside, and that was it. And then it came back. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it took for years for mm. it to eventually go all the way down there. Mm. But all of these there, I mean, I don't know whether these will ever get. Is this all track on you? They're a mixture of both. Most of the track that they get, Katie, is second hand. Yeah. You can see. There we go. Hey, woo, Raiden. Oh, yeah, he's round there, isn't he? But they're all. That one at the end looks very sorted broken. Out, I don't know. It's like a, it's a lot of work, it takes time, a lot of sleepers. A lot of the track they replace now is with the concrete sleepers, like that. And uh, there was, oh, look. There you go, for operating, yeah, for operating your signals and point work. I'm not going to walk over there and get hurt, but we've got plenty of it there, and there's even a load of narrow gauge track there for the mining stuff. And then, is it a bit like rusty, Aiden, is it? Bit like rusty the narrow gauge yeah, engine yeah. chains yeah, oh yes no they're for um they're for holding the track down onto the sleepers lots of them there's more narrow gauge rail oh, there's a more narrow gauge we won't be able to walk very far here all right yeah, i know that's probably for a good reason but I know, you can see the nice narrow gauge diesel there. Narrow gauge shed. Oh, hi. Why can't you go over there? Why? Well, it's a bit of a minefield, kid. You don't want to be walking through all of that. You don't want to I get hurt. It, I swear we went down this way last time. Yeah, but that was years ago, Katie. Narrow gauge stone trucks. Things get moved around. And I was stone saying, I've work. been here for a while. I'm going to take a video of around the Just walk along this bit here and then we can just don't trip over. There we go. A little diesel and some trucks. And lots more NCB mm -hmm. wagons. Every three months So this was the station when I was a kid, Aiden. Mm -hmm. Up here. Mm -hmm. oh, this was it. This was literally the station when I was a kid, Aiden. Steam engine, a diesel engine. There's lots along there. We'll have a look. Three. Classic three. Classic three. Toll. That looks like it's been. There's nothing much inside of that bit. There won't be because I used to be able to sell your tickets when I was a kid. That looks like a fairly recently cosmetically restored at least. What's that? It might be another narrow What's gauge that? engine, might not it? I don't know, can't you? Mm. Some more narrow gauge tippers. Mm. <laughs> Dipper coal in them. Why? Anything. Coal, gravel, slate. Daddy. Broken window. Actually, the old broken window. Six wheel coach as well, Aiden. Mm -hmm. Ah. Six arm. wheel coach. What? Crane arm. Is it? Crane arm, it looks like it. 
I think it might be. It's got a wheel on the end though. It's a lot more narrow gauge here, Aiden. Lots of narrow gauge with an engine, like a, literally a motor that engine. That was really broken. Oh, yeah, there's lots more there. Have you seen that? There's even a little dumper truck here. Look. It's like sucking off uh, Bob the Builder, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Now, I've seen a few of these modelled recently in Double O. But, yeah. Loads of locomotives here. And four wheel coach by the looks of it awaiting its turn to be restored looking at that it looks like it's got um wooden buffers by well, metal but with wooden pads on uh, can't really see anything more about it but two seconds and then we've got this coach now i'm not too sure if this is ever going to make it back onto the rails the moment of the ratchet strap holding half of the roof down but it's in there it does let's have a and look that's like Percy doesn't it though ah that's that's the saddle tank here and look it's rusty it's now Katie you know that engine that Hat Hattons did which was called Katie yeah that is pretty much <laughs> very similar to that only that's a, Katie was an 040, but that's an 060, yeah, just missing, just missing an axle. Looks a bit like Percy. The engine behind that coach. So oh we've got God. another diesel. Have you seen that? That's like salty. So it's a great northern railway, six, week, six wheel coach. Hold on, Katie. So, definitely a Great Northern Railway. Has somebody ever done that, like living inside of a yeah. carriage? Yeah, lots of people have done that. Live you know the, when we go to Dungeness, lots of those houses are actually <laughs> railway coaches converted. Mm. Looks like a shanty a town, doesn't it? But There we go, there's another four-wheel coach. Be careful. I think this is a southern one. Aidan is leading me to the train that looks like Percy. I'm up and over. Judging by, wait, at least the chassis seven. And it could be yeah, seven because it's got strange green. I would suggest off the track in case you trip over a sleeper. Now I'm not too sure that that's ever going to make it back onto the rails. That's rusty. Well, it's not just rusty, it's somewhat holy. The steps are a bit bent. Let's see the extent of the rust. Although I think it was probably worse at Barry's scrapyard. Yeah, no, we're not climbing up there, Katie. But it looks in a sorry state, doesn't it? Been here a while. Well, unfortunately, Katie, unfortunately, Katie, being out in the open, you get vandals. So it will have been set on fire at some point. Mm. Right. It, right, yeah, I can see how you can think that. It's uh, basically, that's a mining locomotive. One of the ones that used to go into the, into the pit. And I very much don't believe for one minute that's, that's going to make it back onto the rails. It looks like a southern parcels van. That's never going to be the um, get fixed. Too broken. <laughs> You'd be surprised, but I mean, I don't think it will, but... It... I want to have another look inside. No, I'm not going in here. Hi. 
En sikkerhøj fø. Ja, <laughs> Back past the narrow gauge, six wheel, so London Northeastern. It's a lawnmower, is it? Yes, Northeastern, London Northeastern. I'm positive that Irwell was a functioning locomotive when I was a kid, but I could be wrong. It's all nicely sorted out. Shed. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like roof trusses, Katie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be number forty nine, I would imagine. I used to have that as a Hornby engine. Yes. We stay close. Yes, that's a pit. There you go, Aiden. I used to have that as a Hornby model. My austerities, I like them. So they can get underneath the locomotives when they're doing stuff. There's Horden, that's what one's been recently restored. Do you not remember during the first lockdown, somebody nicked some of the pipe work off it? Do you not remember? And it was original pipe work as well. Fowler's Ghost. Yes, a Cecil. It is very similar, isn't it? Very similar to Percy. Let's have a look. A Geordie locomotive. I've yet to see this in steam. Every time it's in steam, I'm at work. Well, it was working yesterday because that's where the coal bunker is, Katie. Aiden's Wilbert, as he calls it. have a look over here Aiden. So this is where that green hut was when I was a kid which was basically a gift shop. Used to buy second-hand copies of Railway Modeler in it. There's another one of those mining locos.
Now, I might be wrong Aidan, but I'm sure that they're filled with batteries, or they were filled with batteries, and then what they used to do was charge up from the overhead wire, but I could be wrong. There were some that were like that. And then we've got this one here. Yeah. Yep. Now this, this was cosmetically restored when I was a, a kid. A lot of them have just got numbers next to them. And I, I don't think they, I think at one point they did tally up to the locos, but they keep getting shunted around that much. I don't think they always get moved to the correct location. So those cauldrons that are being made at the minute, well, there's the bottom of one. Lots of boilers. Another loco. Another loco in bits. But some of these might make it back. Some of them might not. There is another shed here which is absolutely full of locos that have been kept safe. And we've got another... No, and I, Aidan, I can tell you about this one. Hold on. Right. I remember when this arrived. This loco and its tender were made in the northeast, right? They were made in the northeast. It's a 462. So it's like a Pacific type loco, but this was shipped to Tasmania, I believe. I believe it was Tasmania. Where Taz lives. Yeah, where Taz, the Tasmanian devil lives. Now, the thing is, it's not standard gauge. It has been converted to a different gauge when it was there. So you can see here where the wheels are sat on the track the actual outer track to the right there is the standard gauge track and it would need effectively if it was to be restored it would have to be basically put back to standard gauge the tender now this is the strange thing the tender got cut up so whether it's even still here i don't know but i believe it was shipped back purely because of its significance from the northeast now the frames for the tender used to be over here and the tender was cut into two parts. It looks like Dennis. Yeah, there's another, it's another uh, one of those mining diesels. There you go, Katie. It was everywhere now. This is the tender. And it was a bogey tender, see? But the whole thing was changed to a different gauge when it was over there in Tasmania so it would never run on our tracks unless it was re-gauged I'm not entirely sure what's happened to the actual tender body but it, the body was cut into two the tender body was cut into two um, and then just placed on the ground for many years and it's a shame it's been brought all the way back here but it's basically spending its life just, it would have been nice just to have had it cosmetically restored. Um, Correct. Fire. Security and fire. Yeah, it's Max Security, which is a fairly local company. So I don't know what's happened to the, the actual tender body anymore, because it was cut into two pieces, I do remember that. And it may well have been scrapped now. This is the back of the uh, back of one of the other sheds here and that's got lots of locomotives in there have been at least the last time i was in there they were at least cosmetically restored anyway 
but uh, so for for you for those of you who haven't been to Beamish and your cauldron wagons there's some old cauldron wagons so they don't always look brand new and pristine and there you go there's your era one rocket style wagons in there rocket style wagons and another shed and here we have number 48 I'm on a locomotive like that Ian this way we're going to have a look at the turntable and see I know we'll have a look at that in a second but uh, that is literally a steam engine it doesn't have a fire it gets pumped full of steam Aiden I think I've just found salty I think I've just found salty but in green that's definitely salty <laughs> it would look interesting wouldn't it we've got another coach here this one's a bogey one and it screams out North Eastern yeah. Railway yeah where the bolts are try not to fall down the little turntable so that looks very rusty now that one Katie there that is like the Hatton's engine the Hatton's model with the one that was called Katie there this one. that one <laughs> that is I would love to have been able to have got one of those Katie's but they're just, they're, they're, they don't seem to be available anymore and that would have been a really nice logo to have had for the layout for you but this one has seen better days I don't believe that's going to happen that's too far gone now but this is a nice sort of clever street North Eastern Railway I believe coach now that, that, that could make it back onto the track but it would need some serious work don't forget you can always visit Tamfield and maybe even donate some money if you've got a little bit to help them restore these are you having a look in Katie are you yeah. we're gonna call this one Katie because it is actually the same reasonably the same color as Katie from Hatton's and uh, obviously They're the cauldron wagon bases, like the ones you see at Tamfield, not Tamfield, Beamish. We're going to walk around the other side of these because there's people down there, and then we're going to have a look at what's going on. Yeah, so basically, Aiden, that is a steam engine, literally, no fire at all. This has steam. Are you thinking Annie or Clarabel? Yeah. Another little break. How many wheels has that got? Yeah, stand back a second, Katie. Yeah. Now that is something new to me. Yeah, it's got eight wheels. It says London Eastern on one set on one one axle box. That's got eight wheels on that on that box. So we've got London Northeastern on that one. Great Northern on that one. That is an interesting situation. Let's have a look at it. For those of you who are wondering, my gimbal has died, so I'm having to improvise workshops where they. Well, that's where they work on the engines to fix them. And when I was a kid, it was basically all the power was generated in here all of the electric they used to they used to literally have to generate all the electricity for the whole of the site in here when I was a kid before they actually got connected to the grid and they used to use all the machinery to fix all the logos as well it was all belts like at the end there spinning round but I remember it used to generate the, uh, it was like a, what do they call it, a bit like um, a dynamo. That is really interesting, that 
that brake van over there with eight wheels. I've never seen anything like that before. And that wagon there looks like it's not long been restored. Looks in incredibly good condition. And sometimes you don't notice things, Katie, for walking around. There we go, and have a look here. So you are standing right now, Katie. We are standing on the railway line. It's hard to believe, but that track, there used to be a crossing there. They actually had the crossing in place for many years. There's a signal box and the track literally went down through here and straight across that road. And across that road, the line's still there as a public footpath. Take you all the way down to Kibblesworth, down towards the uh, Tyne Yard and things like that, and Lamesley. But uh, now, it's just filled in with earth. And on those pictures, on those pictures before, that's where the two terrace houses were. And obviously you would have been able to see the mine over there. So I'm going to walk along to where the old turntable was now, aren't we? Yeah. And then Aiden stimming. Mm -hmm. the, the turntable is an original part. The turntable was there until, I don't know, 10, 20, 10, 15 years ago, right? You couldn't even, you wouldn't even know it was there unless you knew it was there. Just wait, stop because it was actually filled full of soil and everything. But you can see where it was, they dug it all out. Mm. You can see where it all was. They dug it all out, there's a sign there. Oh, I don't like dogs. Have a look at the sign, Aiden. There you are, you can see on the map anyway, where it was, you are here. But now the fence is here now, so you can't get to it. But I remember when they dug it all out, it was around about the same period they were relaying that track. And you could actually, well I climbed down. When I was a kid and we used to go on the line and it just went from Sunnyside there to Marley Hill. I remember every time we went past in the carriage, my dad used to turn around and say, oh, there's where the turntable is. But as a kid, you go, oh, yeah, yeah, but you couldn't see it because it was filled with soil and overgrown on top of it and things like that. And then obviously when they were relaying the track, they, they dug it all out because it's a piece of history right there. And now you can actually see where it was. But you can see its entrance point there. It would have gone off. There's the turntable. And interestingly, someone's decided to graffiti and tag on it, and they've tagged it with Taz. So, little do they realise that Taz, the Tasmanian train, is in the yard, not on the turntable. Like your space readers? Hmm. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, click on the round button. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch some more, there's another video at the top of the screen, and there's a playlist at the bottom. See you again soon.